automated rules on Facebook. One of the most powerful things that you can actually use that's absolutely free that most people don't use properly and actually probably serves as a liability to a lot of them. Let's get over what you can do well, what most people do wrong, and how you can use them to succeed. Hi, I'm Charlie. I'm here to help you begin to win at Facebook. Automated rules. Let's go. So, automated rules. First off, what are they? Automated rules are a simple set of business principles that you can instill into the machine so that it conducts actions on your behalf. Now, what this means is yes or no statements, if this, then that type statements that run every half an hour, 24 hours a day, that never make a mistake, that work 100% free of emotion, and when properly used, can effectively be an entry-level employee or a team of them to really help you accomplish several tasks. I use them to prevent loss. I use them to train the algorithm to understand what my business objectives are. I'll use them to do you know, creative testing or I'll use them to do a whole bunch of things. Sometimes it's just to alert me when something crazy happens. So there are a lot, a lot, a lot of use cases. And I'm not going to begin to go over a, any, a slew of them. But I am going to cover two things that people do wrong all the time. And I'm going to go over three things that you could be doing today to make Facebook better for you. So number one, biggest mistake I see people make is they don't understand that zero results is free. What I mean by that is you might have a goal of $20 and you say like, hey, look, if you spend a hundred bucks and my cost per is over 20 bucks, cut the ad. But zero results is free. It doesn't cost anything. There is no cost per purchase or cost per lead when you have zero results. Because the denominator is zero. You can spend a million dollars with no result and Facebook will see it as being free. Because zero results is free. Now that means if you want to conduct that properly, you've got to write in a rule. And this is one of the things that you should be doing. It says, hey, if you've spent this much money over this much time and the result is zero, take this action. You have to write that in. It's not just about saying, well, a certain level of efficiency. It's also about saying what happens when you have zero. Make sure that zero, while it's free, is unacceptable. At some point, Facebook can't continue to funnel money where the result is zero. That's super key. The other mistake that I see people make is that they set their rules differently than how they would optimize and address and manage their campaigns and their ad sets and their ads. So let me give you something here. If you're the type of person that thinks that hard work is the path towards success and you are day trading the account, turning things on and off and adjusting budgets and doing all of this stuff, and you're looking at today's results, don't set your rule to seven day click, one day view. That has no bearing on today. You'd be surprised how many times I see something where that happens. Or will I have this long view like, well, it's doing really well today, but over the last seven days, actually, it's not good enough. So I'm going to turn it off. So you effectively decided that you are going to use hard work instead of machine learning to deliver you results, which, by the way, you shouldn't do. And then also uh, that because something did really poorly four days ago, even though it's succeeding today, you don't want it to run. I hope you understand where I'm going here. It'll do exactly what you tell it to do. And if what you tell it to do doesn't line up with how you would manage it, then it's not going to do what you want it to do because you told it to do something else. Now, here are three points I really want to make. Number one, the rules run every half an hour, 24 hours a day, 365 days a week, 52 weeks out of the year, every, all seven days. 
There is no m amount of money you could pay one person to do that. And if you were to pay even a team of people, there's no possible way you could expect them to be perfect. But the rules are, and they're free. So my point here, number one, is try to understand what actions do you take? What decisions do you make? What things do you do that take minutes or hours of your day that are 100% not something that you actually need to do physically because you can write it down on a sheet of paper. And if you can write it down on a sheet of paper and that rule applies 100% of the time, we'll tell a rule to do it. Right? You're writing business rules and you're programming the machine to deliver you consistent decisions based on those rules. The second thing is very simple about that, to that last point, understand simple business rules. If X happens, do Y. 100% of the time. Now hopefully, well this will be the third point, hopefully there's not a lot of those. There are a very few set number of things that if you see X happen, then Y should occur every time within like 20, 30 minutes of it happening because nobody can expect you to be perfect. But like that needs to happen if that happens, right? So whatever that is that you would do personally, program the machine to do it. If you program the machine to do it, one, that means that you never have to worry about it again. Two, that means that it happens perfectly every single time, every single day, 24 hours a day. And three, it means you've just freed up mind and space and whatever else to actually start working on more important things. In addition to all of that, the third point is make it simple. If you have to have like 10, 15, 20 business rules to run your business, odds are you're in some trouble. Because you're trying to get it to do too many things. A lot of people, the majority of people, the vast majority of people try to solve problems by making things more complex. Because it feels smart. You're like, okay, well, that happens. And then, okay, here. Well, then, but this other thing happens. Okay, well, we got to write a rule for that. And then we got to do this thing. Before you know it, there's this giant fucking spider web of a whole bunch of things that you have to deal with. The solution to your problem there isn't to make it more complex. It's to understand, how can I get three or four rules all done with one? Or, what is actually important for me to accomplish? I'd argue that if your ad account's primary objective is to deliver sales for under $50, well, you can accomplish that in three or four rules. Something like, oh, if it's spent X amount of money and the efficiency is above 50, turn it off. Or if you spend X amount of money and there's no sales, turn it off. Or hey, if the efficiency ever drops below 50, turn it back on because, you know, delayed results either in reporting or actions. And then something that says like, hey, no matter what I did at midnight, reset reset it. So that in the tomorrow, we live to fight another day. Boom, there's four, there's four rules. Those four rules could easily manage a five-figure a day ad account. Done. And then once you get stability across your ad account and you have the rules in place, all you need to do to optimize your account is one, work on better ads. Two, tighten those rules. Life is simpler because you're using automation to your advantage. Anyway, I hope that helps. I hope this makes sense. I hope you go in and make a rule right now or cut the fat on like 30 of the 97 rules you have going. Write it down on a sheet of paper. If this, then that. Write them all down. I will like literally document every rule that I have. And I will get rid of everything that is not 100% necessary. And in addition to that, if I don't have any rules, how do I figure out what rules to run? Well, that's simple. I write down what I would do personally. And if I could have somebody do that every single time, no matter what, I'd be happy. Boom, there are my automated rules. Now, go knock it out. Save yourself some time. Begin to win at Facebook. Hi, I'm Charlie. I hope this was helpful. See you next time.